he's, he's holding that left lower leg area. The season's not worth watching anymore because they're going to win another title. Thompson grabs his left knee. Clay Thompson has suffered a full tear of his right Achilles. Those times when you get up early and you work hard. Those times when you stay up late and you work hard. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. Why can't I be the best player in the league? I don't see why. Why? Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Our all-star experience, what it was like man, on the spring players? It was amazing, man. Uh, I enjoy the city of New Orleans, you know, uh, I love it here in New Orleans. NBA All-Star Weekend was saved with one of the biggest blockbuster trades in the history of the NBA with DeMarcus Cousins to the New Orleans Pelicans. DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis on the same team. I'm looking forward to watching this. He works like a machine in the summertime. He, he's focused, and you can see it. You can see the work that he puts in shines through during the season. Here's a testament to how productive and versatile Boogie is. They put him on a team with Anthony Davis, and now they're running four or five pick and rolls with him as a decision maker. Yeah. Yeah. And he can legitimately knock down the three. Plus get on the post and turn over both shoulders and be dominant. He's just a flat out dog. He's talking about a guy who got 28, 14, 6 assists, 1.6 blocks, 1.6 steals. Why is no one talking about him in the MVP race? Cousins misses. Oh, almost got his own rebound. Big thing right now is just and he not, just got hurt. Yeah. De Demarcus Cousins is injured at the other end. Chris Paul fouled, meanwhile, by Davis. And DeMarcus Cousins can't go. Uh, he's holding that left lower leg area in the area of his Achilles. So it looks bad. Uh, done for the season. Tell me how bad that, that is if you're a Pelicans player, organizational member, or fan. This was really, this was going to be Cousins' first chance to be in the playoffs. He would have been a free agent this summer and the torn left Achilles tendon and a long rehab. With a surprise move, the Warriors agreed to sign DeMarcus Cousins to a one-year $5.3 million contract. Will become the first team since the 1975-76 Celtics to have five All-Stars from the previous starting lineup. If Cousins comes in and he's healthy, you cannot beat the Golden State Warriors. And then you do this, you're just ruining the NBA. The season's not worth watching anymore because they're going to win another title. Like, where is the threshold? Where is the line of enough being enough? It just, it doesn't feel right. You know, I had haters before, and I just got more now. Do I care? No. And, and you hope that Cousins is not hurt because he's staying down on the floor on the defensive end grabbing his left hip area. The freak injury to DeMarcus Cousins, who tore a left quad chasing down a loose ball, topped off by an embarrassing loss. They could easily overcome losing one game at home. But the loss of Cousins, if it is prolonged, how significant in your mind is that for Golden State going forward? They just won the last two championships with these guys without DeMarcus Cousins. Bogut is back. It was interesting to see them give Jordan Bell a shot last night. To me, it's they can win without him. You look at the one championship they have lost in the last few years, as the season, uh, as the postseason progressed, you had injuries to Andre Iguodala. You had injuries to Andrew Bogut. So, like, yes, instead of having a 95% chance, I think they have an 88% chance. But that still gives other teams a better opportunity. And then advancing in the playoffs, you got to be able to play different styles that it may come back to bite them later. This whole conversation has been about Golden State, and Absolutely. Jalen, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. But the only team that can beat the Warriors is the Warriors themselves. It's Durant, the Shepard defending. 
Kevin Durant laces one through. And he's hurt. He is holding on to his right Achilles. As soon as he made that shot, he started Look whipping. at this. Look at this. He looked back at it. He thought someone hit him in the Achilles. Like I said, I think this is more serious than they made it out to be. And I think the players are planning on KD not being back. Can the Warriors win a championship without Durant? No, not this year. No way. He defended by Capella with a three. Curry with Tucker right with him. Curry launches a three. Puts it in again! Steph Curry from downtown! Curry again with some room this time. Finds a get down wide open for a dunk. With the Thompson in for the slam. Kyle Lillard. Almost stolen. Lillard stolen by the Draymond Green tries the three. It's good! Draymond Green drills the three! Will this decision to start Cousins be the turning point in this series? I think it will be. It comes to a time skip. At some point in time, you have to realize that the better team currently are the Toronto Raptors. Without KD, they're not that team anymore. Can I, I make give, this point I before we go? I Golden State a less than 10% chance oh. of winning it all. I don't see it. Tonight, it's over. Kawhi Leonard is playing far too well. Doesn't seem to matter who they throw at it. Be it Iggy, be it Draymond, be it Klay Thompson. He's found his rhythm. The first four games, the Raptors were dominant and lead three games to one. But all of a sudden, Golden State has a new addition. Kevin Durant will play, and Kevin Durant will start. Back to trying to stay with Durant. Knocks it away, and Durant's slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. Thompson grabs his left knee. Now writhing in pain. And now all of a sudden they lost Kevin and Clay's out and oh no, we're just going to keep going. No, it doesn't happen like this. This historic run is over with. Draymond Green is another. A lot was made about the altercation against the Clippers when y'all were playing. Did that play a role in you leaving the A little bit, yeah, for sure. DeMarcus Cousins has indeed agreed to a one-year, three-and-a-half million dollar deal with the Lakers. What kind of player are the Lakers getting and the Laker fans and DeMarcus Cousins? Um, I'm leaving on the floor every night. Um, just a guy that, that wants to do whatever it takes to help the team win. Clay Thompson, who is expected to miss a large part of next season with an ACL injury, gets a 100% prediction from our experts to return to the Warriors. Agree or disagree? Clay Thompson before the ACL tear was worth every dime. I can't say if I were the team, I would have given him a five-year deal. Sunday night, just before midnight, we learned D'Angelo Russell is going to be a Golden State Warrior. How? It's a sign-and-trade agreement that would send D'Angelo Russell to Golden State on a four-year, $117 million max contract. We've never seen a shooting backcourt this great, and they're going to struggle without Clay. But once Clay comes back and gets his legs under him, his rhythm under him, they get back. I'm telling you right now, you can't judge the Warriors by the regular season. They're going to get to the playoffs. They're going to win a first-round series, and I'm here to tell you something right now. They're going to scare the living hell out of everybody. I, I People have totally been sleeping on the Warriors. It's a mistake. Well, the Lakers might have lost one of their new players even before the season starts. There are reports now that DeMarcus Cousins tore his ACL during a workout in Las Vegas. A torn Achilles tendon, a ruptured quad muscle, and now a torn ACL. The Warriors will be playing without Steph Curry for a while. The star point guard broke his left hand during a hard fall under the basket last night. This is the Warriors' worst nightmare. Everybody is in stunned disbelief in that locker room right now. It's devastating. It's devastating. The season's over. Uh, let's just call it what it is. The season's over. With the second pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select James Weissman from the University of Memphis. James Wiseman. Um, one of the biggest stories is uh, Clay Thompson. He suffered a leg injury during a workout today. It is immediately unclear the severity of the ish of the injury. Now, Clay Thompson was out the whole season. You know how much he's chomping at the bits with all of these cats doubting. Clay spending the entire year rehabbing, so he'll be at full strength next year. And now he's rested, he's going to come back, and we know what type of sniper he is. Let me tell you something right now. They are going to wreak havoc 
or in the NBA. The only thing that's going to stop them from just wreaking havoc is injuries. It's going to be great for us. And uh, to say the dynasty is over, I think is a little ignorant because I think I'm going to come back 110%. I think I'm going to come back even better and more athletic. And I would just not, it would not be smart to count the dubs out. Worst possible news for the Warriors, Klay Thompson has suffered a full tear of his right Achilles. He will miss the entire season. He missed last season with an ACL tear. I was looking forward to, to watching the Splash Brothers. The game missed Steph and Klay together. This is an, a, a total disaster and nightmare. He's that, he's that lockdown guy that's going to go guard the toughest guy. And if you're not careful, he might go get you 37 in the fourth. Missed the whole season. Man, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah, not only are there aspirations to win a world championship out the window, I don't know if they squeeze to make the playoffs. They're fighting for that. I'm really sad that he's down because he makes the NBA better. Watching him and Steph Curry, I mean, it is a show. But in the end, Clay will eventually be back. And once he's back, as long as him and Steph Curry are in the lineup together, they are a championship contender, period.